What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. And if I remember correctly, you filed the lawsuit on him previously and had the audacity not to show up. So you did. Big back, big back. Killing me, bro. Definitely need to pipe down. Okay, okay. I chose money, though. <laughs> okay, well, you may have, and we're going to get into that and see how much money you probably are going to be paying on child support. So the kids have been with you, looks like it's been about seven or eight months now. Yes, you are. All right. Hey, so, commendable father for taking care of his kids. In this seven and eight months, seven or eight months, has mom been paying? She has not been paying. Has she at least been visiting with the children? She hasn't visited the children, but she visited that man in jail that she ran off with. You are <laughs> seeking to put mom on child support. I am. Good on him. All right. Is there anything else you want me to know before I move over to her? Uh, I think that's about it, Your Honor. Buff Just dude, too. Ready to hold her accountable. Okay, boy. Accountability is the plague for these modern women. Shots fired! I can't stand it. Okay, Ms. Daniels. Yes, Jed. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jed, I'm sorry. Are, are you here to be pretty? Or are you here to tell me your side of the story as to why you shouldn't pay child support today? A little bit of both, Judge. We don't care. Well, that's why I petitioned the court. I do. Talking about she's a big bag. She's talking about <laughs> be pretty. <laughs> it's the opposite of pretty. Beat. I apologize for not showing up, Judge, but let me tell you, I came up, <laughs> you know. Oh, oh let's talk about this him. come up. What kind of come up are we talking about? Well, Judge, I met a man who said he can change my life, Judge. All right, so how financially, you know, huh. did he change this life of yours? So you're getting pimped. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Not too much. Oh, oh yeah. Mr. Club. I know. Mr. Club. <laughs> We don't know, Let, let's hear her side of the story because I'm pretty sure she's gonna say some interesting stuff about finance. Judge, Cuff don't know nothing. Listen, understand that I got at least, you know what I'm saying, six figures in the bank. Oh, okay. <laughs> Had you know. six figures in the bank. You said what? <laughs> the one place not to flaunt your riches is in, <laughs> is in child support court. She isn't the brightest if she thinks bragging is going to help her in this situation. Let's take a look at how quickly this backfires. For real. So, like I said... No, let me direct you really quick. You're getting ready to talk about these six figures you have in the bank. I do. All right, how much money are we talking? We're talking about, you know, three, four hundred. You know what I'm saying? A bullshit. <laughs> what, three, four hundred pounds? Shots fired! Because I, I don't see the 300, 300, 400K. That's a lot of money. Sir. You said no more outbursts. I was cuffed. I'm sorry. It's true. Get your allergies. Yeah. <laughs> Handle that. Handle. You need some tissue? No. No, thank you. Okay. Ms. Daniels, that's what you have in the bank. How much money are you making annually? <sighs> well, it kind of just depends on the year and how many promotions I get, um, how many companies want to invest in me. So it just depends. What? Anywhere Does that sound like anybody that's in corporate America? People that want to invest in me? Stupid. What are you talking about? When are you going to answer my question? Judge, that's a, it's a difficult question for me. Because, you know, sometimes I can have a promotion that's 500 bucks, or I can have a promotion that's 50,000 plus. So, Miss Daniels. That makes no you sense. You know I don't have a lot of time, right? I have other cases I need to get I, here. I do understand that. Right, so... You obviously came here to waste my time. I didn't. You did, because I asked you a very simple question. Judge, on average. I a simple answer. On average. On average. How much do you make in a year? Judge, I'd like to say about, uh, maybe about 30 to 100K. Okay, Stupid. 30 to 100,000? Yeah. So we're just gonna take the high end. So <laughs> we Bro, Chad, let me know. Is, is your salary range 30 to 100,000? <laughs> what kind of range is that? What kind of business are you in? It's sounding a little, a little sussy. It sounds like she may be a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. Could be wrong though. We can keep this moving because you came here to waste my time and I do not have time to play with you. Oh 70K variable comp, like come on. Unless you're in a sales role, there's really no way that's at all possible.
Congratulations, you played yourself. yourself. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Not only did she abandon her kids after cheating on him, mm. she then thought she could get away without any consequences. Brutal. Then walked herself into an obvious trap because she was too busy bragging about herself. Yeah. Um, and is this from an employer or are you self-employed? What do we do? Mm, All right. Shocker. I influence. Uh, what do you influence? I influence the world. <laughs> you clearly aren't influencing. You you said the world. The world. Well, that doesn't include these five children because you don't even go and see them, right? This is the last couple months. What? Okay. No, no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, sir. You're influencing everyone but these children. They five kids. Single mom. Good lord. You do not have anything to do with, and you do not financially support. You said they were with you. Ten excuse me. What are, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? It's getting hot. She's trying to show you what she had The BBL? Done. Yeah. I'm not interested in the BBL. Let me tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to make these numbers go BBL, okay? <laughs> so. Can, can, can I, can I briefly? Briefly. Make Dude, what quick. I don't get is when big backs. Big back, big back. Go get a bunch of surgery. I'm like, just hit the treadmill. Just run. It, Put the fork down. Um, in the last few months, it has been a downtrend due to inflation and all that stuff. People aren't paying as much. How um, much was your BBL? I didn't pay for that. How, How much was it? Oh, How much was it? I mean, you know, I got more than a BBL. I had tube sock titties, so I got the boobies, then I got the booty, and then I got all that. So Did she say she had tube sock titties? <laughs> tube socks. Good Lord. He probably paid 35, 40. If you cared about your kids as much as you cared about your surgeries, maybe you wouldn't be in this situation. Baxter. And whoever is the one paying for her surgeries needs to do as much reflection as she does. Bro. Thousand dollars. We gotta end this epidemic, man. Yeah. He oh did, yeah. Though. Let me hurry up and get you out of here with these yeah, numbers. You are about to pay child support. You have five children total, or do you have other children outside of these five um, that are under the age of 18? No, I don't. Okay, so just the five children, right? Yes. All right, so five children, five children yeah. that is going to be at- Five children with him, oh my lord. She has more than five kids, bro, this is wild. That's a big family. At the 40%. And you said health you insurance 40%. <laughs> was about $350, right? Yes, Sean. Mm. All right. So your child support, you're looking at monthly. So with your testimony being on the high end of $100,000, that's what I just based your um, child support off of. So... I mean, well, I was going to make it higher than that and do it like the 350000 Then that would make you cap out. But... I think you should do that. Well, <laughs> no. If she... I have to accept her testimony is true, but I don't really think that it's going to help her too much because her child support is still going to be pretty hefty. So I have your gross at $8,333.33. That brings your net to six thousand. She's like that math is not mathing. Five hundred and twelve dollars and seven cents. So six thousand five hundred twelve times the forty percent. It's like two, three. Grand. That brings your child support amount to two thousand six hundred and four dollars. Mm -hmm. 
Is that a week, Your Honor? Or? For five kids, Chad, let me know. Does that sound like a lot of money? I feel like that doesn't sound like a lot of money for five kids. Like, that, I don't know, 2600 for five kids? I don't know. How often are you paid? Are you paid by the day? You pay by the month? How are you paid? Paid by the day. Judge, it just depends. Um, I would she just though, answered my question. Stupid. That's a monthly amount. I mean, that's How great. she's Money. paid, that's it'll just break down. But the amount is two thousand six hundred and four dollars plus. I can give you that. Plus, you need it. Three hundred and fifty dollars reimbursement for the children. So that brings your monthly rate to two thousand nine hundred and fifty four dollars. Dang. Okay. Yeah, the kids stay with him though. That's right. The kids will continue to live with him because that's, that's who. They live with, and obviously, you, you care more about a BBL than them. That's right. not true. We don't know when she's going to run off again. With the that is so sad. But the thing is, with these types of women, man, there's nothing you can really do to change their mind. You, but the thing is, as a guy, he has to take accountability as well and say, you know what? I gave this, whim, this woman five children, and he has to live up to that. But the, th the problem, the big problem is with this is that fatherless home statistics are terrible. So thank goodness that... She is not the sole, um, she has sole custody of these kids. Thank goodness that the dad does, because like, look at these numbers, bro. 60 to 80% of all degeneracy is from single mothers. Single mom. And that's just how it is. We don't make the rules, just enforce them. This study's from fixfamilycourts.com. Um, so don't take my word for it, take the study's word for it. I got another video here. Let's jump straight into this. She wants um, an increase in child support. And I've been keeping our son for the past three years. All right, so that's why you're here. You. She wants more child support, even though he's keeping the kid. Bro, you can't make this stuff up. I guess. Yeah. I guess you're right. You've been keeping your son for the past three years. Whoa. Are you? Oh God. The wicked witch of the West. Shots fired. Paying child support, or are you paying child support? Uh, I'm paying child support. Okay, so that's why you're here. You're trying to get off child support. Uh, she wants an increase. He live with you. <laughs> the kids live with him, bro. You can't. Oh my god. Okay, so, I'll ask her to make sense of that for me. But for now, how does your son? Ten. Ten years old lives with you. You take care of his expenses and everything like that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, your honor. Health insurance. Yes, your honor. Literally you mind if everything. I move over to her re please, really please. quick? Because I, I need to make sense of why she filed this in court asking for an increase. She filed an increase. Oh, my. Stupid. Um, well, I mean, I, I do buy things for my son, and it's expensive. And All right. So does other parents. They buy things for their children, yes. and it is expensive. Yes. So why are you here? Um, well, I have a business to run, and I just... I, I need his help in order to buy these things for our son. Wait a minute. Your son lives with him. Yes. Now he does, yes. Now? As in three years ago? Three years. That's yeah, not now. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. Three years he's been living with him. Yes. So and she's fully justified in her mind that she's right. Bro, you cannot make this stuff up. This is why I say women are children. They grow old, they never grow up. So entitled. Wants money for her business instead of taking care of her kid, bro. This is so sad. You want an increase in child support yes. to do what exactly? To help my son, to buy things for my son. Cap. Right. Cap, 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 um, cap, 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 cap. You work, right? Yes. Where do you work? I have my own business. I'm a caterer. Caterer? How would much? Y'all eat her food? I'm going to keep it a buck. I would not. <laughs> Y'all eating her food? We got chicken stew. I ain't eating none of that. You making in your catering business? About 400. 400 what? 1,000. You came here to waste my time. I make 40000 a year, Your Honor. You came here to get an increase in child support so that... She makes 400000 and she looks like that. I'm going to... There's no way. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Ah! No, there's no way this woman makes $400,000 a year. No way. You can pay for your catering business. No, no. So why are you here? Just for my, for my son, of course. Right, but you, you're, maybe you're missing it. It's going like this, well, going over your head. Well, he stop paying the child support, and I don't think that he should stop paying. I think he should He should more. stop paying if the child has been living with him 
for the past three years. Under your Child original support. court, under your original court that. order, Mr. Eugene, give me a second. Under your original court order, you were the person that the child was living with. Yes. Not him. Yes. So that means you voluntarily relinquished conservatorship over to dad. Yes. Right. So <laughs> she can't that, realize that's this crazy to me, bro. That should be the person receiving child support from you. From me. That's what I said. You make it four hundred grand a year. That doesn't sound right to you. No, ma'am. <laughs> bro, she is aging like yogurt. That doesn't lift out in that Texas heat. Shots fired. Unreal. Sound right to her. Because in her mind, the man should be paying her just because. She must think child support means permanent compensation for having a kid, regardless of who actually takes That's care crazy, of it. crazy, But unfortunately for her, she is about to get a dose of reality. Um, why doesn't that sound right? Because you're the mom. Yes. And I have to buy things for my son, and I can't do it alone. He buys things for your son. Well, I need to do that, too. You make $400,000 a year, ma'am. Well, I have employees and things to pay. I mean, you know. Okay. I don't think that he should stop paying the child support. What do you think he should do? Pay me more. <laughs> pay you more? Yes. While the, your son lives with him? Well, I still see my son. Okay, yeah, but? I think maybe once a month, you know, maybe. Oh, I see him more often than that. Maybe. No. Maybe once a month. I see him more often than that. What's more often than that? Well, once a week, maybe. I mean, when... She can't even say it with confidence. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe once a week. I have my, my business all day, and then I do extra catering in the evenings, and so I'm just really busy. Mm-hmm. Mm. But when I'm not, then I do go visit with my son. Not I'm once a month. Once a month. No. Bro, this is wild So work. because she visits her son once in a blue moon, she thinks she's not only entitled to child support, but wants an increase in child support. What? She just wants to spend his money on the kid, doesn't want to spend any of her own money. This is absolutely, this is crazy work right here. I want an increase in the child support. Who pays health insurance? I do. You're How much is it? Uh, 200. Is that for your son only or that includes you? Uh, that, that's just my son. Okay. I think, I think what, this, what this started from is uh, she may be a little upset uh, he got a new dating her sister. <laughs> Why didn't you lead with that? Um, yeah. I don't know. I probably... <laughs> she agreed. Yeah, he's, he's bucking her sister. <laughs> Good on him, though. <laughs> look, look, look at that grin on his face. I know he's happy now. Should have left with that, child. Oh, but um, you probably should have. Uh, yeah. You I'm, see why she's upset. I'm a music teacher. Like she plays the clarinet. Oh, okay. Really well. So y'all been hitting notes together. Some, yeah, exactly. You oh, know, okay. So. How long have y'all been hitting notes together? <laughs> we don't care. So this is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> She's peanut butter and jealous, bro. This is so good. To do. Um, we yeah. are going to stop dad's child support, okay? His child support should stop. You voluntarily relinquish the child to him. Okay, so that I can't imagine her sister's bad though. She's probably sad as well. Is the rights that you had in terms of the child living with you primarily, you gave that up three years ago. So it's only fair that dad stopped paying child support. It's I'm going fair. to deny your request for an increase. Okay, dad did make a request too um, to put you on child support. Mm -hmm. So nice. you will start paying child support today. With your income, you're capped, right? In Texas, so I'm we gonna have be a cap. Paying him money. Yes. While he's over there with my sister. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> and, and our son. And our son. Okay, Mr. Eugene. Mr. Eugene, that's that's not cute. Stop that. Okay. Oh, As so I was saying, he made the request for you to pay child support in Texas. You're capped at ninety two hundred for your net resources. So. Your monthly child support obligation giving you credit for the one, well, not credit, you have one child. So it's based on 20% of your income. That is going to bring your child support obligation to $1,840. Now, he also testified that he pays health insurance for your son. 
if you can get private health insurance, you do not have to reimburse him. But until that happens, you're going to be reimbursing him that $200 that brings your monthly mm. obligation to $2,040 a month. That's more than he was paying me. I find it funny <laughs> that she now has a problem with child support when she was perfectly fine increasing his For a real. couple of minutes ago. That's wild. It's the only time having a boyfriend is worth it is when is when he is able to fully support you and pay all your bills. I said it, I said it. Yeah, you said it. But wouldn't it just be so much easier to admit that one is broke and can't actually handle being an adult and paying one's own bills? He's not your husband. Bro, she looks like a dinosaur. She, you guys remember Littlefoot from uh, Land Before Time? <laughs> she looks like if Littlefoot had a cousin, like little nostrils. You're gonna be a girlfriend to someone he needs to be paying all, all, all your bills. Otherwise, why is he there? What is his purpose? No, that's well, for wives only, not girlfriends. I could think of several reasons, actually, but what do I know? If he's not, he's just a boyfriend. Meaning, if he leaves you, and a boyfriend is not a legal title. Congratulations for figuring that part out. If he leaves you and promises you marriage, leaves you with nothing, you get nothing. At least they understand the basics. But if he's paying all your bills, you're able to save money, you're able to invest into businesses that you want to do. If he leaves you, you're leaving with something else at the end of it. Another example of a strong, independent woman who can stand on their own two feet. Right. Not at all a gold digger. Unreal. But to date a guy and be someone's girlfriend for free, for free? Is it just me or is some women completely lost when it comes to actually understanding what the concept of dating is? For real. Being someone's girlfriend is not worth it, okay? No, 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 no. If you're going to be a girlfriend, he needs to be paying a bill or two. These bills are due. You, I'm not usually anyone's girlfriends, but I'll make that exception for you if you're willing to pay some bills. If you're willing to pay I'm usually not anyone's girlfriends, but I'll make the exception for you. She's a runner. She's a track star. Yikes. Look, you want a chicken foot? Chicken feet. Come on, focus here. Chicken feet from PetSmart. Look at him licking his lips. You want a chicken foot? Do you? It look like a fucking chicken foot. Free. Sit. Wait. Free. That's, why, that's, that's crazy work. But, dude, here's the thing. My mom and dad split when I was 11. And uh, my dad never paid a single penny of child support. My mom never made him pay any child support. Now, granted, my dad probably never held a job. He worked in construction, a lot of blue collar jobs, a lot of like cash jobs because he would just had no skills in the marketplace. But my mom never took him to court to make him pay child support, never. And we still did the visitation thing. But and, and then let me know, let me know in the comments, let me know in the chat. Were you a part of a two parent household, one parent household? Did you ever have to do the visitation thing? I had to do the visitation thing and I absolutely hated it. My house was set up. I had all my gear there and then I had to go out with my dad. He lives in like a double wide trailer. It was absolutely horrible. I hated doing that. And then also I was lacking a father figure in the home and I had to watch my mom go out there and date, which I hated having, you know, dudes just come over and take my mom out to dinner and I'll be like, so what was going on? Like it was, it was so hard and I had none of that structure growing up. And then as I grew up, you know, I got in some trouble. It is what it is. It's what happens when you have a boy that has no direction or no discipline from, uh, from a man. I always say this, a woman can't teach a boy to be a man. And the reason I say a lot of these things with like a lot of oomph behind them is because I've actually had to live it. I was raised by a single mom. Single mom. I know, I know what that life is like. I know what that does to a child. I know how close I was to being a statistic and saying, wow, I could have really been bad. I could have been a druggie. I could have been violent. I could be in prison right now. For, you know what I mean? Like for a lot of the bad decisions I made, I probably should have been for a bit. But luckily I got myself out of it. I went to college. I got a degree. I moved to a bigger city. I, I started networking. I got, a, I got a good job. So just remember that you're not always a victim of your circumstance. And your past can be a crutch or it can be a springboard. It's really up to you what that does. And what the, I don't know if you've ever heard this phrase, but pressure can either bust pipes or makes di make diamonds, but it's up to you to apply that pressure and to see which area you want to go. Personally, I want to make diamonds. I'm not trying to have it burst pipes. Um, but a lot of people take their past and use it as a crutch to say, the reason I can't do well now is because of my past. And, you know, something happened when I was two years old and I was hit in the face by a floaty. And now I have a, I'm petrified of floaties and swim. Like, stop it, dude. You're a grown man. Pick up your big boy pants and make a step forward to where you want to be. Because um, your life is in your hands at the end of the day. And if you're waiting for somebody else to save you and be your hero, I can be Hero, More than likely, brother, it's not going to happen. It's absolutely not going to happen. Um, let me see if I can pull up the Reddit really quick. I think there's one clip in here uh, from Reckless. Let's see. Let's 
pull up the Reddit here. Oh my lord. <laughs> harder, harder. No, 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 keep going, keep going, go ahead. Go ahead. What happened? Yeah. yeah. What happened? What happened? Exactly. What happened? Where are you at? Oh my god. Chat, you should you should uh everybody go home today if you got a girl. Go go uh go tell her to hump for a minute straight and see if she can <laughs> See if she can actually do it. I know Cass would probably tap out. She'd be like, God, my back hurts. Good Lord, that is so funny. But yeah, make sure to join the Reddit. It's just um, reddit.com slash r slash Levi Nix. Um, you go in there, drop things to react to. We got 28 members. Shout out to you guys. There we go. Um, but the reason I'm doing Reddit instead of Discord is because Discord, there's just, there's a lot going on in Discord, which shout out to you guys for being really active in the Discord. I do appreciate that, but it's really hard to go through all the suggestions. So if we just do it on here of actual YouTube videos, then I'll just go in here and react to YouTube videos. Preferably do long form content, maybe not shorts, but long form like compilations or something like that, like the typical stuff I would react to. Um, yeah, this way. But shout out to you guys, man. We just hit 85,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. 85,000 on YouTube. This is absolutely nuts, man. It's been a crazy journey. Always remember, it's never too late to switch directions and try something new. Like I said, I was a failed musician up until the age of 30. Then I started trying YouTube and content creation. And look where we are now. It's never too late to start, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook. The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. Loki, did you have a good time? Did you enjoy that chicken foot at least? Did you finish it? Okay. He looks like he did something wrong. You, are you hiding something from me? You better not be. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.